Hello grade 6 and welcome to our second session in our lesson which is adjacent angles and vertically opposite angles. Before we start, let's review. Here are some, some examples of angles as you see. How to name an angle? We said that an angle could be named in many ways but we have to put the vertex in the middle okay so here i can name it c a b or b a c or angle a and we have to put the cap but always put the vertex in the middle okay we put the vertex in the middle and we put a cap the types of angles as we said last time we have many kinds of angles acute angles which are the small angles smaller than or less than 90 degree if it's right angle its measure is 90 degree here we have a right angle if it's greater than 90 and less than 180 yani it means between 90 and 180 it's an obtuse angle if it's 180 degree it's a straight line looks like a straight line it's a straight angle and if it's greater than 180 we call it a reflex angle don't forget that the angle consists of two sides this one side this is the other side and a vertex this is the correction of our homework. Observe the following figure and we have to name an acute angle, a small angle. Here it's an acute angle. Don't forget we have to put the vertex in the middle. So we call it SOZ. Do I have another acute? Yes. Z O K. We put O the vertex in the middle. An obtuse angle, a big one. This one is an obtuse angle. We put O in the middle. So S O W or I have another one which is W O K. A straight angle. Search for a straight line. Here I have a straight line. So Z O W is a straight angle angle a right angle having 90 degree it's s o k okay now we are going to talk about the measure of an angle we measure the size of an angle using the degrees we use this one small circle it's called the degrees okay here are some measures of different angles we use to measure the angle the protractor this is called the protractor the unit used is called the degrees we put it a symbol for it which is a small circle okay okay how to use the protractor to use the protractor we have to line it correctly Put it a line correctly. This one straight line on the angle. Put it correctly. You have to make sure the protractor is lined up correctly. Is it ready to measure? What do you think? Now, can I measure this angle? No, it's not ready because here it's not on the vertex. Now, if you look here at the protractor, it's ready. We put the T shape on the vertex and we line it on the angle. This shape must be the protractor. Put the vertex here and put it straight on the side of the angle. If we have this shape of the angle, Similarly, we put the protractor align with the side of the angle and the T-shape on the vertex. Okay, we put it like this. 
Now we are ready to read the measure. Let's read. It's 0, 10, 20, 30. It's 35. So after we put the protractor correctly, and here is the vertex, we start here from 0. Now the measure of this angle is 0, 10, 20, 30. It's between 30 and 30 and 40. So it's 35. Okay? So here it's 35. We put the vertex here. Let's take another example. Now, what is the measure of this angle? This angle starts from the left. Here we don't have a side, so we don't use this zero. We use the zero to the left. Starting here from the zero outside, let's count. Now it's between 50 and 60. It's 55 degrees. Okay, let's take another example. This is the protractor. We put it on the vertex and we have this we have this angle now it starts to the right from the zero inside let's count 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 110 120 130 140 it's between 140 and 150 if you go outside you will notice that the measure of this angle is 145. It's between 140 and 150. This is how can we measure an angle using the protractor. First, we put the protractor, align it straight. Then we have to put the vertex on the T shape. And this is the end of session two. Thank you for watching.